Believe me or not, I've always had terrible, terrible stage fright. I always have. I don't know why. You think you know, people, people would think, after all this time, you still got stage fright. But the only thing I, I liken that to, if, if you don't care, then you ain't going to last as long. If I didn't have a record deal and a career like this, I'd be playing in a subway, in a club, and somewhere, on the street, whatever. I just love creating. To me, music, it is an addiction. It is just like the ecstasy of finding gems in the vast ocean. Music is the mo one of the most powerful tools in society, in the whole of society. Music is the, is the tool. Of all the languages that human beings use to communicate with each other, it's the language which is the most elegant and the most universal. Music could be used to cause wars. Music can be used to bring peace. Music could put you to sleep, and music could wake you up. There are songs that, uh, as soon as I hear the music begin, uh, you know, I can, I can weep. It's just unexplainable. I don't know how I do it. I don't know how melodies come. I don't know how, you know, this sentence that, that I figured out, you know, two weeks ago can go with that melody that I just thought of this morning. I, I don't know how it's done. I do not see myself as the inventor. I see myself as the auteur of the data. I have an obsessive need to be creative. My curiosity, I think, is the thing that drives everything. It's about being able to have the courage to be in, in the moment. It's somewhere in between conversation and sex. There is some kind of knowing of each other, some intimacy, some involvement, some braiding together of people. I'm kind of quite shy, like I'm beginning to get to the stage now where I might have a peek at one eye, but otherwise I have to keep my eyes closed. If I look at the audience, I'm screwed. There are times I've cried coming off stage. There are times I can't calm down. It takes me a good minute. There are times I can't talk to people. After I get off stage, I need to be alone. If someone tells you to run the 100 yard dash as fast as you can, you'll run it as fast as you think you can. But you put someone alongside you who runs a little faster, and you are going to run faster. When I sing with someone and they do something, I go, whoa, I better step it up a little bit. I do things even I didn't know I was capable of. It's like blood between people that aren't literally family. You know, and it, it connects us and makes us one. The little celebrity and music has afforded me. I like to use it to help others. I don't know that that's a, a mandate, you know. Everybody's got to do what they got to do. So many people get so caught up and so swept away in who they think they are and who, especially in our world where there's a lot of success and there's a lot of, you know, people that have achieved so much. It's like, I don't care, you know, just be good, be good to each other. And it's kind of, it's kind of the most important thing. I want people all around the world, millions of people, to hear my music. I want to play in front of thousands of people every time I go on stage. I want it to be famous. I got kicked down so many times and dropped from this label and had to start over. I'll be the first one to say that some of my early stuff was not the best material. But when I performed them on stage, you thought it was a stadium anthem and I could have been at a bingo hall. Success is not a goal. Success is in the doing, always. I don't care if I sold like 100,000 records, 500,000 records, a hundred records, it doesn't make any difference. The question is, did you make what you were trying to make? Did you, like, did you try? Music is enough for a lifetime, but a lifetime is not enough for music. And I will never have enough time to know what I want to know and to be able to contribute what I possibly could. So I keep working at it. I believe it more than other stuff. <laughs>